Hi, this video is a quick tutorial on how to use application for converting JSON file to VCF. Uh, you can see on my computer I have a, a JSON file contact sample. I can open it in Notepad to show you what is inside. And inside is uh, a lot of uh, uh, contact information. So first name, last name, uh, title, organization, uh, birthday, and uh, URL, phone, email, and so on. So there are multiple contacts information here. I can open this JSON file into JSON Viewer. It's a free app with showing what is inside the JSON file. And you can see it's um, it's showing it as a table. I can search, I can export into a, a different format. But basically we have contact information is just if this JSON file. Now VCF can capable to contain um, multiple uh, contact information. So we'll be converting all of this data into uh, VCF. However, application may will have options to uh, create one um, VCF file per, per person or like just put all organization into one VCF file. It's uh, sometimes it's useful to download like entire organizations and to download like 30 files. So um, to download app, I will go to this website. I will link on this site in the description. And uh, to find app, I'll click on search and type JSON to VCF. And I need this page. Click on download to start the loading process and wait until archive will be downloaded. Now, this application can also be uh, uh, run from command line. So, for example, if you want to convert multiple JSONs files uh, into your folder, you can do this with the app. It's a, uh, I believe, instruction on a page how how to do it, how to create a batch file to in order to do this. Also, I'll be recording more videos on uh, VCF format. So, if you're interested, please consider subscribing to my channel. And um, the most important thing is that JSON can be different for 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 you. It's like I just have a, this JSON as example. You can have a different JSON. And as soon as it has a all data specified, you can use it to create VCF um, file. So you uh, you can see archive has been loaded. I'll click on uh, download archive, double click on MSI to start installation, click on more info. Now I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. Just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install and click yes and finish on final screen. And you can see application has been installed on my computer, have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now let's close this, this, and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now, if I want, if you want to have a, this JSON file, just click on this download input file example and you, it will download to uh, your computer. However, you may have a different JSON file and it's okay. Um, so let's, uh, because in step two, we will be selecting mapping between JSON and VCF fields. And I'll show you how. So uh, I will click on this button to select input file first. I'll go to contacts example JSON. Click on open. I can select multiple files as soon as soon as they structure are identical. I'm 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 saying about like uh, naming fields naming. So some JSON files has identical structure, just different data. So if structure is identical, we can select the, like many files here. Click on next step. On this tab, if I want to have one VCF file, as I mentioned, like for entire organization, I can select that. Or I can select many files. In this case, it will ask me for a folder where to put all these files and it'll create many of them. Uh, let's select one for testing purposes. And here, this is important set what I was um, saying. It's like on left side, we have our VCF columns. On the right side, we will have our JSON data. And the, our goal is to map VCF to JSON. It's very easy. Uh, so here is like first name, first name. And you may have a different JSON. Like maybe you just have a name and it's fine just to add it here. L uh, last name is last name or like name one, name two. Organization column is our organization, job title, um, role, yeah. And phone, uh, I have two phones, so I can use them. Uh, and you can see like phone, preferred phone, preferred for one, uh, email, I have an email. You can skip uh, some um, fields if you don't have them in JSON, that's fine. Application will create with data that it has on 
on a file, so URL, a street address. I don't think we have that. No, we don't. So we don't have a street, zip, city, country. We can just skip it. It's fine. So this information will not be in VCF, so it's, it's fine. So click on next step and the final step, I'll click run to create VCF file. And it's asking me for name and location file. And this name and location, let's call it um, uh, VCF uh, from JSON and click save. And you can see file has been saved. Let's go and see file. So I have a I have a VCF uh, viewer app. It's showing what is inside the VCF file in nice uh, format, and I can export it into different format as well. Also, I uh, we can open it with um, people. I think. Let's try people. Oh, it's it, it will be open just. Uh, yeah. It will just show first one, I believe. Because you have multiple contacts, let's open like a uh, window contact. Yeah, so now when I close, it will open another one, it open another one. So we have like 10 of, of test data. And you can see everything is nice. Uh, name, email, website, everything is imported. So I have to click cancel <laughs> multiple times to get all this data. But you can see we have, yeah, that's it. And we have uh, successfully imported our data from JSON to VCF. If you have questions, please leave them in comments below. Thank you.